I'm going to teach you exactly how to pay your credit card so that your credit score stays at the highest peak possible all the time. I was 27 years old when I got my first credit card, this Capital One Platinum Secured Credit Card. It was one of the worst credit cards to possibly get, but I didn't know any better. I got my first actual statement in the mail and I had no clue what any of it meant. I was so confused. It took me years to figure out how to pay my credit card properly. Well, in today's episode, I'm going to teach you exactly what I have taught thousands of my clients on how to pay their credit card properly so they can really truly take control of their credit score. So you're not going to want to miss one minute. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike the Credit Guy. I'm the owner and founder of Limitless Culture. We created the most advanced DIY credit management system in the industry. Our system allows you to take control of your credit, creating custom Metro 2 attack letters every single round, never using templates for only $55.99 a month. Link is always going to be in the description. Now let's get into this video. I keep this credit card at my desk at all times to remind me where I came from because I really came from absolutely nothing to come to a crazy point to be here with this many credit cards. Now this isn't a flex, but it's it's actually to show you that I really do actually live this credit card life. This is something that I do and I've taught it to thousands of my clients. So let's start at the very beginning. Once you get your credit card, you have no idea what to do. So there are three dates that are the only dates that I want you to focus on. We're not gonna throw all kinds of craziness at you to try to confuse you, no. Only three big dates are the only dates that matter. The three most important dates that you need to know and you need to write this down. Your due date is number one. Number two is your statement closing date. And number three is your report date. Now, I'm gonna walk you through each one of these and what they signify so that way it's not too confusing and I'm gonna make it very simple so you can take control of your credit score. Number one is super important, your due date. You need to make sure that any credit card you have is set to make an auto payment of at least the minimum payment due every single month because you do not want to get a late payment. And also make sure that you have it set to an ACH draft out of your checking or your savings, whatever works best for you. But making sure that it's done directly to an actual account and not a debit account, like a debit card. You don't want it set to a debit card because if your debit card is compromised and you have to cancel the card, then guess what? You're gonna forget and then the card's not gonna actually go through and make the payment and you're gonna get a late payment. So you want to make sure you've got it set to ACH draft out of your checking or your savings to make sure you never get a late payment because one late payment can drop your credit score 60 to 120 points. Now also be aware, I'm going to cover exactly how much you should pay off every month. So don't worry, I'm gonna cover that closer to the end because there's a little bit more detail that needs to go into that. But number two is very important. That is your statement closing date. I'm gonna put up an actual statement here up on the screen so you can see exactly what I'm referring to. So this is a capital one statement. Now look at the little circle. The little circle is gonna represent your due date. So we already know their due date is the February 16th. Now you look at the little square box, you're gonna see two dates in that square box. The first date says December 23rd. That is your beginning statement date or your opening date. We don't really care about that date. Let's not focus on that date. We want the second date. January 22nd is our closing date, otherwise known as your ending date. That is the most important date to know because this is what truly controls the interest rate. Now, what we wanna do is we want to pay off our credit card two days before our statement closing date. So mine is the 22nd, so I wanna pay it off on the 20th so I have at least one to two business days for the payment to actually clear. Last part is the most important. I also heard that Capital One is going to be sending out digital statements that are going to have a like button. No, I'm just kidding, they don't. But this channel definitely has a like button. Make sure you smash that like button and you hit that subscribe button because we're trying to get this channel to a million subscribers and we cannot do it without you. Now you've given yourself the two day window and now your statement closing date hits. So now it's the 22nd. Now what you wanna do is you wanna stop. You wanna stop everything you're doing and do not use the credit card for up to seven days. This is the secret sauce. This is what controls 
your utilization. So you not using the card for up to seven days, now you're going to allow the credit card to report zero balance. Now it's okay for it to report zero balance. Don't believe anyone out there that tells you, oh, if you let it report zero balance, it's gonna show that you're not using the card. That is 100% false. Now I'm gonna cover that in a few minutes, but I want you to understand, give yourself a seven day window to not use the card because the credit card companies have three to seven days to report your balance to the credit bureaus. So this is truly taking control of your credit score. You're gonna control exactly what reports to the credit reporting agencies, and that's going to control your credit score. This is the biggest mistake that people make is they pay off their credit card and then they go use the credit card within that window. And now you're putting an actual balance on your credit card and you are in fact going to pay interest on that little small balance or big balance. And this is why people go crazy. They're like, why is my score going up and down? Because you truly have not controlled your credit score. Now you've truly learned how to pay your credit card. Now here's the big question. Should I leave a balance? Should I not leave a balance? Well, I'm gonna tell you the full truth. We're gonna put up an actual slide directly from FICO. You wanna make sure that you keep your utilization below 9% at all times, not 30% like you see everywhere that they're telling you. The moment you cross the threshold of 9% utilization, you start to truly lose a lot of points. But there's two sweet spots before that, zero to 1% and then one to 6%. Don't believe me? Don't you worry. I bring proof. I'm not supposed to show you these slides. These are directly from FICO. Now, they actually present these, but there was one year I got a hold of them, and guess what? I'm keeping them by my side. But here is a slide that shows you exactly how many points that you can get based on your utilization, which is your balances that are reported. So as you can see, I put it in a little square red box right there. 0% is gonna get you a total of 55 points. Now, it doesn't say that you're not gonna get any points, you're gonna get 55 points. Now, if you report one to 6% utilization, you're going to get 65 points. Now, if you see, there is a little asterisk right next to it. So there's, it's only a 10 point difference. The box number represents the maximum points possible minus the actual points that you were already given. So you may not get 10 points. You may have already been given the 10 points. You may only get one point, three points, five points, but a maximum is 10 points. But everyone's credit profile is different. So all those people out there saying that you're gonna get more points if you carry a balance, there is a little bit of truth to it, but we don't know how many points you're gonna get. But as you can see on the little chart, it's a maximum of possibly 10 extra points. But as you can see, when you go from seven to 19% utilization, you're going to lose 15 points. The higher the balances that report from your credit cards, the more points you're going to lose. I also really want you to understand that it doesn't matter how much of your credit card that you use. In fact, it's okay to use as much as you want, but if you pay it off in full, that's gonna help your credit score every single month. And a lot of people believe that you gotta stay below, you know, 30% utilization. No, remember, you are controlling the balances that report. By paying it off in full, by your statement closing date, now guess what? Now you're pausing and you're not using the card for up to seven days and you're truly taking control of your credit score. So if something happens and you have to buy something for your home, your car breaks down, you need to repair, you need to carry a balance, you're not freaking out and you understand fully how to take control of your credit score and you know that it's gonna go down right now, but once I pay that credit card off, guess what? My score goes right back up. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We covered exactly how to pay your credit card and how to take control of your credit score. And we also busted the myth, should I carry a balance, should I not carry a balance? You shouldn't be carrying a balance right now because interest rates are at an all time high and even carrying $5 or $10 is gonna cost you money that you can be saving in your pocket. So I hope you enjoyed this video. We covered a lot. If there's anything else specific you want me to talk about, drop it in the comment section, drop some emojis in there so we can get this video going so more people can learn how to pay their credit card off properly. 
And I cannot thank you enough because it's all about you, our community. We cannot do it without you. So thank you for watching. Now, make sure that you watch the next two videos because those are recommended by YouTube. And don't forget, subscribe to increase your credit score.